This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the analysis of proteins. The two methods of protein analysis are chromatography and gel electrophoresis. Before proteins can be analyzed, they must be broken down into their component amino acids. In this reaction, we have a tripeptide, which is composed of three amino acids, being broken down in the presence of a strong concentrated acid and heat. This is a hydrolysis reaction in which the peptide bonds between the amino acids are broken. Let's start by looking at paper chromatography. A small sample of the amino acid mixture is spotted near the bottom of the filter paper, which is called the origin. The filter paper is suspended in a solvent with a spot of amino acids above the level of the solvent. As the solvent rises up the filter paper by capillary action, the amino acids in the mixture will distribute themselves between two phases, the stationary phase, which is the filter paper, and the mobile phase, which is the solvent. So as the solvent rises up the filter paper, the mixture of amino acids will spread out as you can see here. The different amino acids separate according to how strongly they adsorb onto the stationary phase versus how readily they dissolve in the mobile phase. The amino acid which adsorbs more strongly to the stationary phase won't travel as far up the paper, and the amino acid which is more soluble in the mobile phase will travel further up the paper. Once the paper is removed, it is sprayed with ninhydrin, Ninhydrin is a locating agent, which is an organic dye. Most amino acids will take a purple color and can be distinguished as separate spots on the paper. As we can see here, we have amino acid A and amino acid B. The position of each amino acid can be expressed as a retention factor value and compared with known retention factor values. Here we have the equation for calculating the retention factor. It's the distance moved by the amino acid divided by the distance moved by the solvent front. So for amino acid A, the small arrow represents the distance moved by the amino acid and the large arrow represents the distance moved by the solvent, which is the solvent front. Once the retention factor has been calculated and compared with known retention factor values, the amino acids in the mixture can be identified.